You know, you ever go to the bathroom just to wash your hands and then your body is all of a sudden like, oh, you have to pee now. <laughs> oh, here's a, here's a gigantic load of pee that you have to excrete now. Now that you're in the bathroom and now that there's running water that I can see and hear, oh, look, you'd have to pee and you have to wash your hands again. Yeah, you didn't pee out your, your water yesterday. You drank a lot of water today, which is great. Good for you. Now you have to pee. Oh, you just wanted to wash your hands? Oh, you just wanted to try out the new, the new soap that you bought the other day? You pee. Double wash, double wash. You didn't wash them hard enough. Wash them again. It's like, who am I? Some sort of clean freak? Not even close. <laughs> I forget to put on deodorant every other day. And um, that's a problem I should fix. I got um, a few moles removed. <laughs> recently um because is that too much information <laughs> is that a little tmi maybe i don't, maybe just cut all this out but um <laughs> no, i went to the dermatologist right before i went to school and i thought it was just going to be a routine check but it wasn't it ended up being oh you have three moles that i would like to remove uh very soon and today most likely preferably today right now please they basically have to numb me up like stick a bunch of needles in me. There's there's one here and two on my back. So they had to, I was just rolling over the whole time. They numbed me up and like snipped them off, which is such a crazy feeling, by the way. Like, cause, cause you don't feel it. There's no pain, obviously it's numbed up, but you still feel the snip, the snip, snippy snip. They had to stitch me up basically. This is the first time I've ever got stitches before. And it's kind of crazy. Like taking care of stitches is a lot more complicated than I thought because you have to put bandages on every day. Every day you have to put a fresh bandaid on and I have, I have three stitch places to take care of. So I figured out a system. I don't want any of my roommates to put band-aids on me. I have a phone app that works with this camera. So I, I connect the phone app to the camera so that I can see a live feed of the, of the camera on my phone. And I set it up here. <laughs> and then I zoom in this lens to my back so that I could see where I'm putting my, that makes sense, right? That's not super weird. I'm not recording any of it. It's gross. And I don't know why I'm talking about it, but just so you know, just so you're aware, I've had my first surgery and it's not even at the hospital or from the doctor. It's the dermatologist. Nuts, I didn't even want a major surgery anyway. Yeah, maybe I'll just jump out this window tomorrow morning and get rushed to the hospital and see what happens. Maybe just be like, yo. Yeah, it's a whole thing. I have to take the stitches out here. I can't do it myself, obviously, because uh, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I have to get them taken out here. And so it's a whole complicated process. Um, Life is hard, man. My life is so difficult. I hope you know that. It was so funny because I I got I just got back from my class, my six to seven forty five called Visions of the Universe. Um, it's it's a space class, of course, uh, telling by the title. And I thought it was super interesting, so I thought I'd take it. Not close to my major, not even close. Like, oh, I want to be an astronaut. Uh, I'm a I'm an astronaut major or what? It's a stupid joke. No, I'm a film major. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Point is, the teacher is awesome. <laughs> Mr. I think is his name. I probably can't say that. Shout out to this guy, man. It's so good because he has a very specific way of teaching and living, I guess. Obviously, like, obviously the class is about space. We're learning about black holes. Like this was my our first class. We went through the syllabus and all that. And he's talking about um, how we're going to learn about black holes and dark energy and matter and like all the sciencey stuff and we're even going to talk about aliens probably like that's super sick this guy this teacher is standing up at the front like he's one of those guys he's he's super deadpan and i swear this guy has never laughed audibly in his life i wish i could do his voice but it, it sounds like he has a frog in his throat like the whole time uh and he kind of talks like this and you know and like there's really no inflection in his voice he's just talking about like yeah so there's black holes and we're basically going to be learning about the fate of the universe and how we're all going to die soon but he's not boring you know what i'm saying like you'd think he'd be boring but he's not he's actually kind of entertaining like i think his whole deadpan personality just makes the class better because putting on his voice whenever he says stuff like the fate of the universe and 
the possible existence of aliens. In his voice, it's just incredible. Like, it makes everything so much more uh, awesome and impactful. He says it like it's no big deal. Like, it doesn't matter at all, even though he's teaching it. Um, so it's just super funny. Got a new water bottle. One time I was on a plane. I had my school's water bottle for a while. Like, like the school store, I got my water bottle from the school store. It was nice for a while, but it just made a lot of noise. Like, I... <laughs> I care about the stuff that I use. I don't like making a lot of, especially when I'm in class. The other one, it clicks up, but whenever you like, for the duration of your sip, of your, your sucking on the, <laughs> sucking on the water, it makes us like a squeaking noise. It's like a It's like, and when you're done sipping, it does a It's like, it's so much noise. I don't want, you know, it's so loud. Uh, but this, you can shoot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, did I get any water on you? You okay? You okay? Okay. Stop freaking out. What are you freaking out for? Oh man, I am just a mess. This is what it, this is what recording does to me. One time I was on a plane and not illegal water. I filled it up after security check. So had water in the water bottle. Um, then went on a plane. <laughs> Decided I wanted a drink. I didn't ask the flight attendants if I could have an apple juice like I usually do. I just thought, hey, I have a water bottle. Let's drink out of it. So I, I slid it out of my, my bag that was under the chair or the seat in front of me, held it up like, oh, this is great. And the, the, the tube opened up like this. So it comes, it comes up. So the tab's in the back. And so the tube comes up like this for you to, uh, so I opened it and didn't like, apparently you're supposed to unscrew the cap first to relieve the pressure. So the pressure from being on the plane built up the, the, like the water in there. So when I opened the water bottle, the, the tube came up like this as usual and some water, you know, and by some, I mean quite a bit <laughs> came up out of the tube and flew to the seat in front of me and splashed on this couple sitting in front of me. Oh man, I've never felt more bad in my entire life. Like. The last thing I want is to even come close to interacting with other people on the plane. You know what I'm saying? Like I like when people are sitting down next to me, I just want to hello. How's it going? Good. Sick. Silence. Rest of the flight, please. You know, let me put it in my AirPods. I have a lot of plane stories recently. You know, I, I fly a lot. Um, so that'll never happen again. I hope. Well, maybe maybe it'll happen with this one. Who knows? I just have to remember to loosen the cap a little bit so that the air can actually go through. Ready, ready? Oh. Oh! Ready? Peekaboo. Beep, beep. <laughs> Peekaboo. God, I'm so annoying. Okay, you have a good night. I'm gonna relax. Good night. That was a good talk. Good talk. Good talk, Ross.